Shout out to Jerry Rig Everything, as always, for going ahead and posting his uh, Z Fold 6 durability test, which, reality wise, a torture chat, a torture test for the Z Fold devices. I will leave the link down below in the description to this video if you'd like to check it out for yourself. But pretty much, let's go ahead and break this down. So he does his durability test where he puts these Z Fold devices through pretty much through the ringer. He does everything, burns them, scratches them, puts dirt on them as you can see back here. He bends them back, forth, center, whatever. And to be honest, they, the Z Fold devices that is, the last two or three iterations, they survive. They don't really have any problem at all because they're well built. The hinge prevents them from ever snapping and breaking in any way. And again, like I said, it's pretty much the same thing with the Z Flip devices as they do survive. Now, of course, the inside display, when you burn it, it's plastic, it's going to burn. And of course, the picks that he uses to scratch the inside display will forever be there because it's plastic. That's pretty much that. But other than that, these phones are pretty much impossible to break with your actual bare hands. So... Something interesting happens. So after he goes ahead and does this, he always tears them down to see the insides and how well the insides actually did. Now, he does talk about how when he dropped the dirt on the actual display, that it seemed like the dirt got inside the phone, which is weird because this is the first Z Fold device with IP48 for being dust resistance, which means dust resistance, the, there should be no actual dust inside the phone. Surprisingly enough, there is. So, that's number one. Number two is the flames. And yes, he does go ahead and start sort of taking off the displays. He takes off the different layers. And as he does that, he cuts and it actually starts to set on fire. Now, you might think, well, is that because of the battery, right? No. So, the battery is not located anywhere near this side it's actually located up here on the right hand side there's actually two separate batteries that are on the z fold device one is located up here and one is located up here so this is actually not where the battery is so if it's not the battery what's causing this device to spark up and set on fire well as he claims he thinks that it has something to do with the ribbon cables and because the fact that the phone yes is still on and once he goes ahead and removes the inside display he turns the phone around and it is still on he thinks that that is what caused the flames to happen because with the phone being on connected to power the ribbon cables are pushing power throughout the phone to the inside display so if you cut that there's a chance you could create a spark create a spark with power and you got yourself fire that's pretty much all that was, I know this is going to turn into articles that people are going to write. The new Galaxy Note 7. No, it's not really that deep. It's really, again, like I said, it's just a simple power ribbon cable. It doesn't match out well. Um, now, if he were to have, let's say the batteries were disconnected and they were not connected to this inside display this moment in time, then we wouldn't have this problem. There would be no flames. Now, it is weird because this is the first time that has ever happened. And he has done this for every single Z Fold device, um, you know, who, that's ever came out. But again, a lot of the reasons why is because it's a very particular place that you have to cut and he cut in the perfect place possible so again like i said it's that you have to hit the ribbon cable at the correct point that would cause the flames to happen and also cause the spark up to happen so he does tear this all off and once he tears it off he shows that yes the inside is the inside the outside display still works um even though, you know, the inside display is no longer a thing, which is kind of crazy. And yes, as you can see, it still works. So then he goes even deeper into this. And this is more concerning, in my opinion, than the fact of the whole, you know, outside display or inside display sparking up. I still don't think that's that big of a deal. I know people will make it a big deal, but that's really not a big deal at the end of the day. The big deal is once you go inside here, it's this. So this is the hinge. And here's the issue with this. Again, this is a dust resistant phone, okay? 
And as he says in his video, he doesn't remember any other Z Fold device when he does the dust resistant thing, it ever getting in the hinge. Cause he always takes them apart. He always looks at the hinge. He doesn't remember any other Z Fold device having this problem. Now, the reason why this is a problem is if you take this phone to the beach, even if you don't, in theory, open it up and, you know, use the inside display because sand, you could still get dust and sand inside the phone. Now, of course, when it comes to IP48, 4 is a very loose definition when it comes to how, you know, powerful the dust resistant actually is. According to Samsung, the 4 is talking about like half the size of an ant. So if it's like half the size of an ant piece of particle, it can't get inside the phone. Obviously the dirt and rocks he puts on this phone is technically smaller than a half of an ant size. So there is that consideration as well, but it's just with how much got in here, and when you compare it to the fact that older models didn't have this problem and were technically considered an X, which is no dust resistance, it is kind of surprising. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Because again, like I said, when it comes to his torture test, he really puts them to a point that nobody else will ever put these cell phones to. I mean, these are not normal case scenarios. These are extreme cases to a point that, you know, it's kind of crazy. But with that being said, just want to talk about this. I'll leave a link down below in the description to his channel and his video if you'd like to check it out for yourself.